welcome to Healthy Body by Sophie, where we have fun moving our body through some safe moves. Um, as I always keep uh, attention to our body mechanics with my expertise in my field um, as a health professional. So let's get started with no further ado. Get your clothing, your shoes, your mat, your surface, your stepper, obviously. We're gonna do another step up class. It seems to be very popular. So get yourself some water electrolyte and let's get started i'm gonna go turn the music on and be right back to start with you right here right now let's go let's start stepping up with the right foot on the stepper right and left and let's wait for the music to start pump up those arms back and forth forward and back and let's wait for the music there you go we're gonna start with the music here we go You're gonna go up on the stepper. We're starting at fast pace here. Start with the left. Left. And now right. I hope you warmed up first. Because I go right in with this video today. And switch left. If this is too fast, you can break it down. Now right leg first. It's just up and down. Same with the arm, side to side. Switch, left one again. Ready, I'm gonna do it right again. Right. On top of those arms back and forth. Uh, so you're warming up upper. Okay, now we're gonna go here. Twisting with the body. Arms go one way, legs go the other way. Good. All right. To this corner. So wider, go low. And add the arms and put more focus on the arm. Up and down. Down, down, down. Keep going. And bend your knees. As your arms go down. Now side to side. Arms stay, your body stays open. You should go side to side. Left to right. When your right leg goes up, you go to your left. And when your left leg goes up, your arms go to your uh, right. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Keep going. Now we're gonna switch again and twist. Ready? There we go. You can have your palm of your hand facing up and keep it that way if uh, you have a shoulder issue. Push down into the side of your body. It's good for your triceps. 
and together and away hands up together and away the lower you go the more you're working your whole body the more you go higher with your arms and lower with your body the more using of your muscles and down a couple more and then we're gonna switch again ready twist twist and down let your foot rest on the platform on the stepper down 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 bring your one hand to the opposite knee and touch down down up up down up all right how did you like that one okay we're gonna do some kicks okay Stepping up on the stepper. Kick and down. Kick, down. I'm gonna switch. And switch. Alternating. There you go, you got it. And breathe in through your nose and out. And we're gonna stay there. And up with that leg. This leg on the stepper. Four up and four down march. If you don't want to hop, then just don't go like this. Ready? Two, three, four, march in place. Two, three, four, march. Keep your legs together and jump. If you don't want to jump, then just do that. If you want to jump, then jump. You can double jump. Or this.
There you go, that was a good one. All right, okay, so this time, we're gonna include some kicks on the stepper. Uh, it's gonna be interesting, okay? So, let's go up, down, up, down. Now up, kick, 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 in, and jam. Left leg up, on the, whoops, I messed it up. Now up, left foot up, and down, that's what I missed. Two, three. Let's wait. We're gonna start with this leg. Up, down. So with this leg. Up, down. Up, down. Up, kick. Three, in, and down. Way. One, two, three, and down. We're gonna step with this one. Down, up, down. We're gonna kick this way. One, two, three, and down. Up, down, up, down. Kick this way. One, two, three, and and down. Step up. One. And two, and we're gonna kick here. Up, kick, 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 in, and down. Up, down, up, down. Kick this way. Kick, 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 in, and down. Up with your left, down. Up again, down. You're gonna kick to your right. Kick, kick, kick. And, and down. Right leg up, up, down. Up, down, kick to your left. One, two, three, and, and down. Up with your left. And up with your left. Kick to your right. Kick in, out, and there you go. Right up, right down. Right up, right down. Kick to your left, in, out, in, in. So it goes back and forth. You rotate your hip out, then in. So you're rotating, okay? You got it? We're gonna do a little bit more. Let's do a little bit more on this music. Might not work, might be too fast. One, it's a bit faster. You might like that. Kick this way, out, in, out, and hold and down. Up with your left. Kick to your right. Out, in, out, and hold and down. Up with your right. Kick to your left. Out, in, out, hold in. You can lose your balance, that's okay. Up with your left, down. Up, down, kick to your right. Out, in, out, hold and down. One more time. Up with your right, down. Two, three, hold it. I lost my balance. All right, that was a good one. Now go side to side. Move those arms. Okay, we're gonna go up, 
and down again. We're gonna hold it up, kick in front, kick side, kick back, kick side, and down, and switch. Kick up front, side, back, side, down and march. Right foot is gonna be on the stepper. Front, side, back, side, down. Up with your left. Side, back, side, down and march in place. Up with your right. Back, side, down, march. Up with your left. Side, back, side, down, and march. Good. Move those hips. Lift your leg up. Up. And kick back, okay? Make sure there's nothing behind you. And switch leg. And go all the way up. Next, we're gonna go up, lift your leg back. You're gonna have one leg that's easier than the other. I'm more unstable on this leg. How about you? One arm in front, one arm either to the side or back, or in between. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Up, now we're gonna repeat that with the legs bent, okay, instead. Let's start with this one again. So the back leg is gonna be bent, it's gonna um, make your hamstring and your glutes work more. One different way, it's gonna stretch your quadricep too. So look at the point on the floor. Make sure your foot is on the middle of the stepper and switch leg. Up, down, up, so you do tap. Next, you ready? You're gonna bring your leg up, bent, and go. More use those arms, that helps you with your balance, like I am doing. Up. Up. Flex your foot in the back. The back leg, flex it. The foot. It's gonna stretch your calf a bit. Have your arms nice and straight. Your wrist. Whoops. I lost my balance. We're gonna switch. Up. Ready? You can have your knee arms bent if you wish. Or you can even have your arm at the side. Works your arms, your back muscles this way. Here, open. Close with your hands, open. And switch leg. Focus on where you're looking at. Keep your bottom leg bent. Switch again. I'm gonna switch one more time to the other side. I told you I'm on another stable on this side. Ready for this one?
Now we're gonna go sideways. Up sideways on the stepper. We're gonna change it up and then we're gonna go to the other side and switch. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, and switch. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, and switch. Up, down, up, down, up, down, is at the arm. Okay, switch. In front, up, in front, up, and switch. To bend my arm because I'm close to my reception countertop here. If I go all the way straight, I will hit it. <laughs> but you get the gist of it. And switch. Whoop. Up. In front. Up. In front. Up. Keep going. One more and switch. Again, here, up. Okay, and I'm gonna go all the way across, keep going back and forth. Keep your knees bent. Stay low. So I'm going to go across here. Across. Across and down. Across and down. Step up completely. Of the stepper now. Good, now middle and down. And up, down, up, down, up, you're gonna stay up. You're gonna go out to the side. Down, up, down, up, down, up. Out, down, up, out, down. So see how my hip is going? I'm keeping my hip pointing forward. I'm not opening it. Hold it. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, and down. And the other leg. Up. Hold it. Out. One more and down. Switch. Up. Down. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. One more and go down. Switch. Up. Up. Down, up, up, down, up, down, and go down. Again, switch. Flex the heel, flex the foot. That's uh, going out to the side, and down, switch. Couple more. And down. Whew. Switch leg. Flex that foot here, that leg. And down. All right. So this was pretty good. Did 
I'm sure your legs are feeling it. So now we're gonna, I'm gonna go sideways so you can see my legs. I'm gonna work the back of the legs, stretch a bit. So here I'm stretching the, the back of my legs here. That's stretching here because it got tight. So I'm gonna go forward. And we're gonna work our triceps. So put your hands close to your body and go down and push up. Down and push up. Keep your elbows out close to your body next to you. And have your hands the way my hands are. Point, thumbs pointing forward. And go at your own pace, okay? Up. 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 Up, hold it here. Back into planks, look at your legs as wide as you want, or, and stretch the thighs. Okay, so now we're gonna go halfway on the stepper. If you need to take a break and come up, give yourself a minute, then go back down, or a few seconds. If you need a minute, take a minute. And we're gonna go up. Have your feet pointing forward as much as possible, and flex the heel. Well, it really, really both legs are flexed at the ankle. We're gonna switch side, you ready? So le my left leg is up now. Try and keep your toes pointing forward as much as possible. If you wanna make it a bit harder, working on the plank at the same time, go a little bit further away, uh, legs and feet away, and switch. And switch. Make sure you breathe. Now we're gonna bend the knee. Keep it bent. And a switch. Then you can take a break. In, up, in, underneath you, up, underneath you. Try and stretch the calf as much as you can, the one that's on the floor. As you bring your leg up, the other one on the floor, you pull that heel down toward the floor. Good. All right, and go down to the um, stepper. Step back a bit so your feet are here onto the uh, floor. And then you're gonna pull yourself up, doing a nice little stretch on the back. <sighs> you're not gonna be 90 degree exactly here at the arm and torso, but that's okay, and the floor, but that's okay. <sighs> that's because you're on a platform. And down, Ooh, and stretch those arms. Do the Superman, both legs up and down. Up. And down, up, hold it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect, you did amazing. I'm gonna stop my video, I'm gonna do a little cool down, stretching, sitting, uh, so stay tuned for that. It's coming up right now next, you did amazing. Okay, so I'm back. I just went for a bathroom break, got some water, got a couple of equipments that I want to, to use. So let me grab them. I'm gonna put them along the side here because there's a few options. So I'm gonna use a dowel just to do a few stretches with our shoulders. And um, you could use it, the stepper. You also can use the foam roller. This is a half foam roller, so the black, one usually is uh, harder, tougher than the white one. Uh, but my white one is a full cylinder, eight uh, centimeter, I believe. Um, and um, so 
there we go. Um, it, it requires more balance to use the round ones. So if you need, if you have less balance, then definitely use the one that's like this in half so it won't roll. Or use even better, use the stepper. Um, it won't go anywhere and it's wider. So um, I'm going to leave that to the side as well. I'm going to start with a dowel. So I'm going to sit on the stepper. I'm going to move it back actually because I want you to see my feet. There you go. And we're going to use a dowel to stretch. So go crisscross and you're going to go side to side with a dowel. Reaching to the side. And pull down with the arm that's to the closer to the floor. Pull down, just stretch up and try and keep your head at the side, uh, your arm at the side of the head. So if you need to get your body grounded so you're not going to shift and as you go to the side, and then we're going to hold that position here and stretch your arm. And then up to the other side. The dowel goes straight vertical, your elbow onto the stepper and stretch your other arm past and go as far as you can. Back up, holding the dowel and to the side. Stretch the side of your body here. So here I'm going to my left. If you're mirroring me, that would be your right. And if this puts stress on your elbows or your shoulder, that's where the elbow is touching the floor, then don't touch. There you go, and up. All right, so we're gonna go back, down, up. So I used to be able to go back from, not from up here, but from back. I used to be able to, um, to go inverted. Uh, like if I held on to a bar, um, like a chin up bar, um, or even this one, I could do this, but a lot, uh, closer together my arms. Unfortunately over the years my shoulder got so tight um, it's kind of work related <laughs> because of the the quality of work, uh, the kind of work I'm doing it's made my shoulders uh, very tight unfortunately and I didn't catch it on time so not twist your body. So you could do this standing that's going to engage your abs actually if you do it like this right now because you're really isolating. So keep the dowel as straight as possible, as in vertical, uh, horizontal. So you pull with the front arm across and keep the dowel as horizontal as possible, like I said, and twist your body. And keep looking in front of you. Sorry, just had a bit of a shake there. <laughs> Ah, just a sip, but still to get a bit of strength. Ah, there we go. And out to the side, nice arm um, straight, nice stretch to the side. Go back and forth, good. All right, now let's roll our shoulder. Uh, my shoulder is a bit sore today. I need to get it treated and do some triple point release. So let's stretch the arms this way. So I'm going to go to the side so you can see me. I'm going to move this and I'm going to go here. I'm going to push this away for now because I feel the need to work on the tricep. Uh, but we need this this way. I just want to be in this direction so you can see me. So here I'm going to stretch back. So inch my way like this. Swing, shifting my body side to side as it's stretching my shoulders. And go further in the stretch. Relax your shoulder blades, keep your hands on the stepper and rotate side to side. As you rotate one side, you feel the opposite side in the tricep, it's pulling. Keep your head neutral, don't pull your head forward. And come back up. Good. All right, so you're going to go up and away, up 
and against the stepper, up and away, lift your hips and down, up and away with your hips and toward the stepper, up and away, up and toward the stepper, up and away, up, up. So as long as you see what I'm doing, just keep the uh, stepper the way it was and just go in, fr uh, in front of it, looking at me so that you don't have to turn your head, okay? Good. All right, now I'm gonna go up, one leg stretch and down. Up, the other leg stretch and flex and down. Up. Right leg up and down. Up, left leg up and down. So you're working your triceps a bit as you're doing this, lifting up and you're working your core. And down, up, stretch your leg and lean your body forward like you did earlier when you were on the floor instead. Now you're doing it up and pull forward and down. Up, pull forward. And down, up, stretch your body forward, good, all right, so now, well, I have my mic, so it's difficult to do it with my mic, as a matter of fact, but you can do it, I'm going to have to move up a bit of the mic, so that I'm clearing it, but have your, I would recommend to have your torso more here, so the only way I would change that up be to have a towel or just be lower. The idea is to stretch the torso up and over the stepper here just to get an opening here through the chest and then from here actually let's go down there you go head on the stepper I'm not gonna do that one since it's not possible with my mic on the back I'll have to figure that one out another time. So here, up and drop down. Up, squeeze, feet pointing forward, then drop down. Up, squeeze, and drop down. Arms out and open. If you want uh, a towel for your head, then go ahead and do that. We're gonna engage our arms too. So in front. I'm going to put my palm of my hand facing me because I have a little bit of a tightness in my um, deltoid that's been since last week and um, I have not had it addressed yet so I need to take care of that. <sighs> Drop your hips down, arms up. Here I'm in contracted position here, squeezing all of this in. The back of my hand is on the uh, uh, against my thighs. Is that as I'm gonna drop my hips down, I'm gonna bring my arms up above my head, and now the palm of my hands are facing toward the floor. If you want to do the other way, do the other way. I want to do it this way to prevent um, further uh, discomfort in my deltoid uh, area. <sighs> Squeeze. <sighs> Squeeze and up, hold it. Good, and down. And let your body come up. Perfect. Alrighty, um, so that was good stretching. Now we're gonna go this way. Stretch and do the child pose. Use the stepper, makes it um, easier. Actually, just stretch the shoulders and have your legs out this time. Well, you, your knees are pointing outward as opposed to uh, straight forward. I'm going to move the stepper a bit or move my body back, whichever. So I have more room in my head, not touching the stepper. And forward. And back. And forward, so it's like if you're doing the frog here, 
So I'm gonna go open more. Okay, so. And then back. And frog forward. So you need to figure out what distance you need to be away. And back. So kind of, for me, I have short arms, so the distance is my forehead is basically touching the stepper, so forward here and back. So go back and forth, working that frog movement, getting the hip joints and back. As you go forward, if you want, you can open your leg, your heels away from each other, more like a 90 degree angle. And then you bring them back in your feet as you bring your body back, um, buttocks against your heels. And forward with your torso, open your, um, your feet apart from each other, bring them back together and push back buttocks toward your heels. And take a nice deep breath in and exhale, stay in that position. Breathe in and exhale. I'm gonna bend my elbows and resting my forehead onto my hands. Or you could put a towel if you wanna keep your arms straight up. And from here, I'm gonna finish. I'm gonna tilt these uh, stepper sideways. You could do this with the foam roller. I'm just not going to be using uh, the roller right now. I'm gonna remove my mic here to have it hang to the side. There you go, because otherwise it's poking in my back. <laughs> and then resting um, side to the side. I prefer the foam roller personally. Uh, it's actually softer on your head than using the stepper. So you might want to put a towel and then resting your arms out. You get a much deeper stretch if you use the um, uh, foam roller, which so actually I'm gonna go grab it because I really prefer that. If you are so tight that you cannot use a stepper or you are, um, um, have lack of balance, then uh, definitely then use the stepper. I personally want that instead, so there you go. Let's move all my little gadget on the back here out of the way. Little clips that are still poking in me. There we go, they're gone. Ah, now this is much better. I prefer personally this. And then you just, I'm gonna end the session with this. I'm gonna stay like this for a moment. So this is already a long enough video where um, I don't want to take any more time of yours. Put a nice relaxing music and just sit in that position for five, 10 minutes, however long you need. It's a really good way to uh, have your downtime after work, driving back, at one, you know, after working all day and having driven back home. Once you get home, just get on your farm rotor and rest in this position. Push your belly your, uh, back in toward your back, uh, getting the small of your back flatter against the uh, farm rotor, resting your arms out, palm of your hand face down. Pull your shoulder downward toward your feet, feet flat on the floor. You can do it bare feet or with shoe, shoes with support like a running shoe, whichever you prefer. Bare feet is completely fine too. And then elongate your neck, pulling your head up toward this way and relax. So thank you so much for watching today and go through your meditation here. Arms up and open out to the side and relax. Great, so I stayed a bit on my foam roller and I hope you did the same thing or you're going to do the same thing. 
Until next time, thank you so much from wherever you are out there. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Namaste. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, click the bell so you get notified to all of our videos, um, upcoming videos that will be produced. We always enjoy listening to your and reading your comments. Um, take care. We'll see you very soon again over here, right here with Healthy Body by Sophie. Take care. Namaste.